perfectly edges. Nice. So nice. there's the face. And then I like to do the backside as well because you know it's just the, it's the small details that really make a, a product worth it. And then nice. you feel that edge now instead of the hard square edge, you oh, have yeah. a nice rounded edge on it. Perfect. So it doesn't do the ends. So then we're going to come over here. We're going to we're going to finish the ends with a, a little manual cutter. So now we're rounded all the way around over there. We'll cut one on the face side of this. That's great. Yeah. And then just try to help. our floor is a mess. We'll try to keep it off the floor. Yeah. And these are the same punches that we basically use industrial punches for uh -huh. our boots. So how long have you been doing this? Well, how did you and how did you get started? Well, I I did this for a little while before I came to Nix. Uh huh. And then um, probably are you still filming? Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's that's good. No, uh, I've been doing it for a little while before Nix. And then, yeah. And then um, I was just doing doing some simple leather craft in town. Yeah. And uh, um, decided I was like, you know what? I was between jobs and. Thinking it'd be great if I can make a career out of this, or, right. or start to really use this uh, in the business world, because it was just hobbyist stuff. And so, yeah. I reached out to Grant on Instagram and just asked if they had That's any awesome. positions, and came out of that. That's so awesome. I just give it a little bit of love. Normally, I'll let it heat up, but the veg tan yeah. stamps a little easier than some of the other work leather stuff. So that'll take a nice embossing. Should I get that in there a little bit? Oh yeah. Then using all solid brass hardware. You know what? I'm gonna make a keeper for you. Cool. We've got a couple pieces pre-cut out here. I think this one will I'll cut it. Nice. So we make all of our own keepers here. There's steel staples. Those, those staples so we can nice. get a flat edge on the back there. And I always like to check and make sure that it's going to fit through the keeper real nice. Yeah, so that's a nice snug fit. It's not yeah. too much, but it'll hold it well. Beautiful. Put our buckle in. Oh, we use these Chicago screws. It lets you change out your buckle if you want. Uh -huh. There's just some options. And I just put some blue Loctite. Just kind of a, a nut about them not falling out on people. Yeah. Throw a little bit of that on there. I see. So we're looking at, this is a, I spec it out from Wicked Ink Greg at about 12 to 14 ounces. Uh -huh. So it's pretty, it's pretty thick leather. It's about as, at least on our work belt, it's as thick of leather as you can really yeah. make a belt out of. Anything thicker, you really can't right. bend it here. And yeah. So you just kind of get in a bind on that. But look at that. It's there beautiful. There it is. So that is beautiful. It's a finished project or product there. And you can see the edges That's all amazing. rounded out pretty nice. And so. And you can see that against the boot that 
your yeah, way, which is also the awakening Craig boots. So those are year on. That's a year on. Yep. That's what they look like, and they're just beautiful. And no problem like breaking them in. No, pretty, no, believe it or not, like if you think about that, it's camera, amazing. Like if people have worked with it. Um, yeah. Like people, people use it for saddles. Um, right. People use it for um, sheaths and stuff where yeah. it has to be wet molded. Right. So essentially, a break in on your foot is your foot wet molding a piece of leather. That's right. You know, a little bit of heat, a little bit of uh, perspiration on that, and you know, it, it yeah. starts to form around your foot. So if anything, I would say uh, they break in real easy. That's because amazing. Because it heats up a little bit and it takes takes 